guys welcome to civil engineer sadda this is abhishek here i hope you are you guys are doing well so today i am here with a new concept that is how to remove a plagiarism uh, by preparing a thesis or pre preparing a project report according to the requirements free of cost and uh, so let's begin the session today so firstly i am going there's a report here so uh, in this report you can just see i'm just going to see that there is an abstract that is ready here let me check the abstract uh, for the plagiarism okay so what i'll do i'll just copy the plagiar uh, abstract here control c and now i'm going to sh tell you the software like which software you need to select for the plagiarism checker so if you put a plagiarism checker on uh, the google so it will show you many results here but according to me i am going to tell you that the grammarly uh, phrasing checker play a plagiarism checker will give you the good uh, results for the plagiarism so you come here and you can place it over here so before entering into the grammarly you need to make an account in the grammarly and you need to log in there so there's an already account there's already login here so it's directly showing me there plagiarism uh, tool okay so i'll just say scan for plagiarism so it will take hardly 10 seconds to check whether your content is plagiarism plagiarized so my my dear friends you can see that we didn't find any plagiarism but we found seven writing issues these issues can be addressed by downloading downloading the ext extension for grammarly so there is no plagiarism here so guys i'm going to show you how will the uh, grammarly detect the plagiarism okay so at, actually what is a plagiarism plagiarism is nothing but the content which has been directly being copied the work of others has been copied without giving them a proper credit or citation so what do you sir what do you mean by citation okay so guys you can see here there's a citation let me show you the highlighter with highlighter that there there they have uh, here they have written in the square bracket 1 comma 2 3 comma 6 like yes 17 comma 21 so here the author's statements or his work uh, explanation has been given so whenever you write it and at the end when you go to the reference sections here you can see that the paper number 13 okay so the statement taken is from the paper number 13 okay so this means the plagiarism the credit has to go to the author who has stated his work or when you're going to use his reference for your work so what i'm going to do now here is guys i'll just directly copy the abstract here i'm going to copy this entire abstract Control c and i'm just going to do it i'm just going to place it at the some uh, okay i'm just going to do it from a new page here so you can see so i have copied the abstract here so guys i'll just take Control plus c and i'll go to the plagiarism checker by grammarly so i'm just pasting the contents here so just don't worry about the grammar just go for the scan for plagiarism so i think uh, guys and what you will expect here see so guys you you uh, you will find that there's a significant plagiarism found okay so whatever service i'm taking here it is a free of cost service and it is not a very uh, you can say intense intense plagiarism finder but basically you can come to know that there are there is a need for uh, paraphrasing when you find that plagiarism is found so some there are some monthly plans here so if you are uh, able to do if you are able to take it then it would be better otherwise you could manage by just uh, some some extra work okay so this is one of the plagiarism checker and there is one more plagiarism checker which you can uh, so there are many actually there is a uh, there are other like small tools so the small tools in the small tools command what is an advantage is that you can uh, okay you can paste your text here and while coming just click on i'm not robot and check plagiarism so when you click on check plagiarism here you will get the actual content actual percentage of uh, plagiarism that has been found so when you 
going through the process of checking so you can see already uh, it is still at the stage of 60 percent of uh, process but still you can see that 60 percent checking and there is a 60 percent plagiarism which means when you go, when it goes up to 100 percent you can see you can see that that 60 percent plagiarism is being done so when you want to check that from where the sources has uh, come so we can go for so you can directly see that the paper from where you have copied or where it is being plagiarized has been uh, shown here okay so this is one of the things so guys here also you have one more content known as rewrite rewrite plagiarized content so when you do that here it will open the new tab where it is having a software which recreates or rephrases the sentences so as to avoid plagiarism so guys what is plagiarism actually when does a software detect a plagiarism what is the code or what is the strategy made while detecting the plagiarism so guys the strategy made to detect the plagiarism is that it whenever you copy whenever you, uh, there's a repetition of same words five to six times like continuously for five to six words then we detect that as a plagiarism okay so in that case the plagiarism would be shown so now guys you can see that we can see a rewrite article so this the software itself uh, does the rewriting so you can see that they the view original when you do it like this so this is your original and this is the result so you can see that there is small changes small change a very very small change made here but still when you do that afterwards also like you can feel that the real plagiarism you will get you will be caught in the plagiarism so i feel that this tool is not so worthy than what i'm going to show you now so now just go to the new page google here there is the one best paraphrasing so now we came to know how we can check the plagiarism and now we have a, a plagiarism para paraphrasing tool okay paraphrasing tool so just see this go and click quillbot q u i l l b o t so guys this is the software that you can note down this is the quillbot software paraphrasing software so just go enter there so you can see that automatically the paraphrasing tool opens so this is the main uh, home page of uh, the quillbot software so here you can adjust three there are three adjustments that you can make that is standard fluency and creative so whenever i'm just going to pay, paste my text here so what i'm going to do i'll just i have this is uh difficult but one uh, this uh, one cons of this uh, software is that it takes only up to 700 characters at a time so i need to delete something here yeah so now guys you can see this is the original content and now i want to make it i will i have to rearrange the words so as to give a good meaning the same meaning the intended meaning itself but i want the change of words because i'm getting caught in plagiarism so guys you can see just just in a small just in a seconds you can see that there's a enormous change in the paragraph that we had uh, copied from the paper actually guys this is not a good practice because whatever credit we have to give to the authors should be given as a citation when you do it when you provide citation then only then the software then the plagiarism tool does not detect the plagiarism but still i am just showing you that it might help you to reframe the sentence guys so you can see guys so when you read this paragraph you will understand that the meaning of the paragraph can be varied see the new paragraph can be varied with three commands like it you will have a standard where the middle ground of changing the input and keeping the meaning and when you go for the fluency it improves the fluency and fixes grammatical mistakes improves the fluency means the grammar would be taken care of and the grammatical mistakes will be done so create when you go for create 
changes the sentence the most but it also the, there's a lot of chance of making errors because it may change the context of the entire para what you intended to use so when you're using the creative you know so we should be very very careful or we have to go through that paragraph once we get paraphrased so this is the meaning that i want to tell you so you can see that beautifully you can even have an option of if you don't want suppose since the last decade there has been an increase so if you don't want that term there has been so there is an option that if you click on that there's been an there was an there is an there is no an so there are many options that you can explore using this software i usually found it very useful for my thesis work also so guys there is one more software that you can check so that software the name of that software is spinbot it is spinbot so you can see that there's a spinbot here so here also you can see when you just enter into the spinbot it's like same like brother and sister uh, quillbot and spinbot so let me check but one guys one disadvantage is that uh, sorry advantage is that characters remaining like you can go for maximum of thousand tools so here you can have a maximum of thousand characters that you can enter but in quillbot there is a restriction of only 700 characters so guys according to your uh, size of uh, paraphrasing you can choose ignore any okay so there's nothing to ignore just i'm uh, i'm not a human and i'll just check it so it's asking me to containing train okay so this train yeah one two three verify yes now i'm going to go for the actual uh, paraphrasing so i think this will take some time here guys so the rewritten test is loading up it will take some time So guys, now you can see that the rewritten text has been come, so has uh, has been done. Now you can see that the conceptual, the model, the methodology of uh, utilizing subatomic level. So you can see that the tech, the software has re rewritten the text here. So according to that, you can check whether that this. Uh, rewritten text is according to your that will meet your standards and the intended use so guys this was the video here and uh, i have told you the maximum use of plagiarism like how can you can you check the plagiarism how can you avoid the plagiarism and other things please do subscribe my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that i'll give you the latest updates and uh, you'll get it in a second when you just uh, have a notification and god bless you all thank you